Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you another factory. It's a factory for making glasses, including normal glasses and sunglasses. The reason why I'm here is because I'm getting the glasses made for one of the customers from America. Earlier, I was getting the glasses made in a different province, Zhejiang province, which is very close to Shanghai. But the quality standard is quite different from the standard in Shenzhen. In Shenzhen, the quality standard is the highest. Though in Zhejiang, I experienced a very bad lead time and also not ideal quality and the communication also was, was kind of bad maybe because I was very far uh, from the factory in order to improve the lead time the quality and everything well of course the price in getting the glasses made in Shenzhen is definitely higher but I think it's totally worth the effort because the customer is gonna resell the glasses at a much much higher price when you have a, like a powerful brand of course you can price your item with your handsome margins it's worth it because we're talking about European and American market we're not talking about Africa or Southeast Asia and that pretty much explains why I'm here and why I'm choosing this manufacturer okay without any further ado let me show you the factory let us go to the production over here is the packaging department which I will show you later on the left it's the metal glasses metal frame glasses and on the right there's the plastic frame glasses and I'm gonna show you the plastic glasses first so over here is just to for the plastic material to get uh, prepared and now we can see these are the raw materials plastic plates right and this machine will be to create the shape of the plastic So these are the, for the glasses legs. Ah, this why did I put it like this? So we're going to take it out and paint it. So this is just to make the the edges of this mold. After that, they will be cut one one by one, like this. Yeah, after being cut, it will be looking like this. Okay, because when the machine is doing its thing, the worker doesn't have to get his, her attention on the machine all the time. The man is uh, here. Well, he's also watching some TV over there. But it's fine. I think he's getting everything under control. So the Chinese workers are not entirely just uh, a toiling away every day they also have their uh, kind of personal space they can use their phone and over here we can see this is fully automated there's nobody sitting over here uh, but of course before that before this happens there needs to be 
somebody over here to stack this plate onto that plate. So this process will go on, I, I don't know, maybe for 30 minutes like this, is that it will be polished. You can see one side is fully uh, smooth, on the opposite, opposite side is not smooth. Yeah. So I think what happens next is they put this plate with this side above. And what I know is these machines are over here to do the heating. So these metal plates, they will all be uh, heated. It's like cooked, you know. What I heard is that it will be cooked for three to five days for these materials to be uh, suitable for the further processing. And over here is to cut the plate, to cut this uh, plastic board like this. And over here is a polishing house. So we can see there are some uh, rolls within there. You know what they're doing? It's doing the polishing inside. It's a, like a bucket. It will be a cleaner like this for a very long time. And the glass is drain will just be polished like, like that. Okay, so that's about the plastic frame. But that's not the end. We need to get the handle in a different uh, workshop. It's called assembling house. Here is to just to get the parts that, it, that, that it were made in that place getting them pieced together and they will use some, uh, some kind of glue uh, which looks like pure liquid it's like water these plastic parts will be melted by this water this kind of liquid doesn't hurt human body so over here we can see that uh, there is some liquid over here and this one this liquid will be melting this uh, plastic parts a little bit it requires really sophisticated and proficient work to get this done the lady will have to put this parts into the mold for them to shape together so these parts are getting processed over here they will be melted glued together on that mold after that it will be like this and they will be stacked on this metal trays over here is also the similar process to use the kind of blue water pretty much finished with the uh, plastic frame I mean, right now let's see the metal frame and for the metal frames, there are two kinds of metal. A titanium frame and normal metal frame. Maybe, maybe it's copper, uh, tin, and brass. Titanium frames are supposed to be the most expensive. They specifically designated a department. So over here is to do the welding. Right now the lady is uh, welding uh, these small pieces into the frame. So I guess there will be a little bit of fire inside. So she's using some kind of foam to cover that. that this lady is, is creating the scent for this little part. She is uh, using a kind of uh, metal pen to create a dent. Probably the pure difference between the titanium frames and the normal metal frames is just with the welding. You can see the uh, welding machine it looks more sophisticated but let me show you what the normal welding machine for the normal metal uh, frame look like so what I know is that uh, this gentleman right now is doing welding for the 
for this little thing uh, I don't know how to say that this is like a little ball metal ball this has not been welded yet so this the gentleman will be putting these frames onto this machine to get it welded So on that side, it's called the welding paste. Wow. After being welded, the frame will be dipped into the water, the cooling, and this is finished. And this is, uh, it's called a welding wire. And this welding wire is very expensive. Probably 1,000 uh, US dollars per kilo. Okay, now adding the welding paste. So the welding paste is over there to uh, clean the welding process. And here of course is also doing the welding. This machine is to uh, to make this part, I mean this nose piece part. Okay, so I asked it for a uh, comparison. So this is before the process on the left, on the right, it's after after the process. So over here is to bend the, the, the frame. Another comparison. So over here the lady is doing the uh, visual inspection. And over here is the, the, the symbol polishing. So the metal frames will be polished over here. After being, being polished, it will look like this. Beautiful. Right now let's see the most beautiful part, which is the easiest part to understand in the manufacturing. It's packing and packaging, right? All these lines are very busy. Beautiful glasses, these glasses come with, with the butterfly. So all these are very subtle work, requires high skill. And over here is very, very easy to understand. He is just trying to uh, apply apply those screws onto the nose pieces so the frames are the most difficult to make to apply the lenses are very very easy okay maybe that's pretty much it for today uh, the manufacturing of the glasses right I hope you enjoyed the video um, I hope you have something to learn from the manufacturing. I hope you also find this interesting. Come on, it's business, right? It's about getting products made, getting them launched, getting them uh, made from idea to market. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. This is the contact I have with the factory. Very nice guy. We had the numerous dinners together. Very good factory.